everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take the power from me. SMT Nation, we back. And the goose is here. You guys may have seen this in the, the last AT&T video. Still hanging out. I don't know. I think he's doing the one-legged right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Anyways, we are in Strongsville, Ohio. Uh, we're testing at a very busy lot. Uh, there's Lowe's back here over that hill. Uh, there's Walmart right there. Uh, Home Depot is back that way. I think Buffalo Wild Wings behind me over there, behind the Salvation Army boxes. A lot of traffic, I-71 Pro Road, everybody knows this location here in the Cleveland area. We're going to be testing Verizon today. We're going to do so on the 5G side. And it looks like we do have a 5G Ultra Wideband upgrade from the serving cell. Uh, we're testing on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We're on a legacy Verizon uh, plan. I think it's got the you know the 5G UW add-on. So that's how we're accessing that. Uh, we're going to be testing co available capacity and quality of networking today. We'll do both. And I uh, just wanted to do this on kind of like a, an opportunity where there'd be some stress on the network. It's about noon and it's Sunday. All right, so people are shopping. There's all types of people. Oh, he's moving again. Up oh, here we go. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, kick rocks, bruh. Canada goose. All right, so we'll do 5G first and then we're gonna do LT second. And we're gonna do NPERF, we're gonna do Ookla, and we're gonna do fast.com. All right, so first test on the Ookla side. We got 151 down, we got 42.5 up. All right, so those are the capacity throughput. Uh, ping time at 39, jitter at two, with download latency at 1577, and uplink latency at 170. No idea what happened there with the downlink. Uh, we'll test again because I actually, I just moved the SIM over to Verizon. So I, I think sometimes it's best whenever you do that, switch your eSIM profiles or anything. Uh, just give it a second test just in case uh, it needs to kind of like, I don't know, get in sync with the, <laughs> the network connection. Uh, so I recommend it. Uh, but you can tell just based on this capacity available, it's getting used, right? They've got a 60 megahertz bandwidth channel of N77 here. And, you know, peak, sometimes I see like five, six, seven, eight hundred megabits per second. We're down to about 100 megabits right now. 150 was our first test. Uh, but you'll see that mostly the same outcome. Okay, so 105 down and 32 up. Now that's that's Ookla. All right, so let's do the fast.com and let's see what type of connection speed we're getting on fast.com. That's a good idea of what you'd be getting for video if you could do like 4K streaming and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, for those of you that may not know, the 5G ultra wideband connection on Verizon is on their QCI 7, which is higher than their baseline QCI 8 for postpaid on something like LTE or, or DSS or whatever, nationwide 5G. Uh, so it, it does have some priority, you know, in terms of the network connectivity. It's kind of got its own little QCI or QoS. All right, you'll see 5G UW in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, so we got a 98 milliset megabit per second downlink, and we got a 35 unloaded ping, 839 loaded ping. Those loaded pings aren't very good on Verizon on this testing. 28 megabit per second uplink. Still plenty good for a 4K stream if you needed to. All right, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to the NPERF side. And this is cool because it's more, you know, usage-based as opposed to just like a speed test. All right, so we're going to put it through its paces. It'll do a speed test, then it'll do a browsing test, and it'll do a streaming test, and it'll get a total score, and we'll evaluate Verizon on the 5G UW connection. All right, be right back. Let's fast forward this. All right, and here are the results for Verizon on the 5G UW connection. We've got a peak download speed of 120, average at 70. We have a peak upload speed of 47, average of 43, and a best latency of 39 milliseconds with average at 47, and a jitter of 19 milliseconds. Total endpoint score of just over 102,000, browsing almost 80%, streaming at almost 94%. Not bad numbers. I have seen better, but it's not bad. All right, so, you know, if you were using the 5G Ultra Wideband connection, you had the device, you know, you got the plan, you know, you're doing pretty good here. 
All right, but there it definitely is some strain. There's some usage here. Okay, you're, you're not seeing the peak throughput. You're seeing usage on the network, but it's holding up just fine. All right, that is a lot of traffic on the network here. Uh, Verizon does have a very high market share in this area. It's upwards of almost 50% market share. So they're doing good. Uh, I know they recently did some upgrades over, over the last year or so. The network's holding up pretty nicely. All right, let's make a transition over to the LTE side. And we're gonna go ahead and switch from the 5G on uh, location here, right here in the middle between these three, you wanna pick LTE. Uh, let's see what they're doing for their LTE customers. We'll run it through the same testing. All right, so there was your, your 5G UW. And now we'll test the LTE. So we'll go ahead and run it. I'll fast forward it for you guys so we can save you some time. All right, good, speed test is done. We got 18 megabits per second downlink. We got 22 uplink. Ping time at 44 millisecond, jitter at five millisecond. An absurdly high download ping of 4,400 and then an upload ping uh, latency of 285. Okay, so huge difference there, folks, in downlink capacity for, compared to the 5G UW. Now, if, if, and it's pretty close, right? If this was to get bogged down, which it's very close, it could, you know, if you were in an LT device, you know, things could get a little choppy. Uh, you know, based on market share and a lot of users still in their iPhone 11s and their Samsung Galaxy S9s, you know, there are some phones that are not 5G or phones that don't connect to the ultra wideband and 77 C band, right? You definitely want to be on those connections, right? Look at look at how close it's cutting it right 12 megabits here on the downlink and 10 megabits on the uplink all right so we have a situation on our hands it's cutting it close it's holding uh but this would definitely get kind of dicey all right let's go ahead and run the fast.com all right folks now i don't know how many people are actually watching 4k content on their phone but if you wanted to and you were trying to I'm not sure if you'd be able to do it. You might, but it would definitely be a close call. You're going to be able to do that on the 5G ultra wideband. This one is going to be too close for comfort. It might even buffer if it was 4K, right? 1080p would not be an issue at all. Quad HD would not be an issue at all, uh, but the 4K would be a problem, uh, potentially. All right, so 16 megabit downlink, 46 millisecond unloaded ping, 1.2 second loaded ping. That's really, really low. Uh, 21 megabit per second uplink. Yeah, so you definitely want to be on the ultra wideband uh, with, re with regards to that. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the NPERF and let's see how it compares. So these were the 5G ultra wideband connection results. Let's run the test on the LTE side. Check out these quality metrics and these actual use cases. Uh, we'll fast forward it. We'll be right back. All right, so we finally got our LT results here and kind of the same story, right? Download peak was at 13 megabits, average at seven. Upload peak at 18 megabits, average at 16. Latency at 48 millisecond, average 59. Jitter at 21 milliseconds. We've got an endpoint score at 56,000. Now what's bringing down that score is the lack of available throughput because the browsing came in decent at 74%. Streaming coming in decent at 83%. Much different story, folks, between the LTE side and then the 5G ultra wideband side. This is why you want a 5G ultra wideband capable phone and plan on Verizon for situations like this. Because if you're watching high quality, you know, high resolution video, this can get sketchy, right? This one's going to get close. Uh, with, with that 7 megabit per second download, you know, your 1080p is going to be good, but anything higher than that is going to be touch and go. You might get buffering. Uh, you might get kind of like a, I don't know, like a like a downgrade to your resolution playback. It might kind of automatically adjust type of deal, depending on the app and the optimizations. Uh, so you definitely want to be on 5G ultra wideband as much as possible. If you've got the upgrades in your area, you got the phone, you got the plan, you're sitting pretty. If you're in an older phone or you got an older plan and it's not included or you're on like an entry level, you know, this could be 
become kind of an issue. Uh, but what do you guys think of the results? Similar to what you see? Different? You know, tell me what you guys think of the results. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters for making content on the channel possible. Uh, if you want to become a member, uh, just hit the join button. It's right next to the uh, my my channel name and the subscribe. And you can get all types of early access to videos, exclusive content, live streams, all types of perks and benefits. And uh, the Patreon as well. Uh, the Patreon link gets the same types of things, maybe some extras. Uh, there's a link in the description for that. Also in the description is the buy me a coffee link. If you want to support the SMT directly, that's one way you could do it. Keep me caffeinated and motivated. And uh, also, if you're looking for a really good deal on wireless service, you can get it from our partner, Mint Mobile. The partner link in the description. Use it, save money, and you'll help out the channel in the process. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We shall see you all on the next video. Peace.